What's good, this is Noah. Hey guys, I'm Corey, and welcome to Itemize. And today we are going to be talking about oversized button downs. Relaxed luxury is at an all time high right now and everything is oversized. Yeah. The few things you need to know regarding oversized button down. First thing is fabric. That's gonna play a big part in how it's gonna lay on your body. So be mindful whether it's a linen, whether it's a stiff cotton, wool. There's a thin line between oversized shirting and just ill fitting. Right. So we're gonna show you guys the right way to not sit by the house so you're looking a mess. And then the last thing you need to keep in mind is proportion. With this oversized shirt, you wanna keep in mind the kind of bottom, the kind of sneakers you're gonna wear with it. So we're gonna show you guys the right way to pull it off, whether it's a bit baggy as well on the bottom, whether it's a bit more fitted. We're gonna run through the gamut. Yes, and today we are going to be hitting up Uniglo because it's the best place for staples. Yeah. Everything you need. Everything. Great price. And we're gonna to go to the new Idol Brooklyn private showroom in the city which is super crazy. Nobody gets access, but we yeah, get access. Yeah. So, Cause Alex is the plug. Yes. So then we're gonna come back here. You're gonna do some style outs. Show you guys some fashion, the right way to wear oversized button down. Please stay tuned. All right, so this is the Idol showroom. Magical place, magical place. Also, I should just let you know, you're gonna see some really cool stuff. You might not be allowed in here, but they do have an online store, which is what you should go to because all of these clothes are there. They have brands like Cavempt, they have Undercover, they've got Kiko, but we are here for Raf. Why are we here for Raf? Because this episode is on oversized shirts. And no one does a better oversized shirt than Raf Simmons. Boom, so good. All right, now this is one of his most coveted items for sure. And he does it in two ways. He does this version, which is a little bit more of the shirt, and then he has the super oversized one. I love that it's deliberately cut oversized. That's my favorite thing. You know, no matter if you get a small and that's your size, it still looks boxy. It's thick enough to where everything stays in place. As you can see, the cuffs, you know, they're gonna stay like that. My collar's popped. This is why I love Raph Simmons so much. I mean, this is a small and it's, you know, it's huge, but it doesn't, it's not swallowing me. This is a piece that you can wear for days. Okay, so we are currently at the Fifth Ave Uniqlo. Now they might not have a shirt that is designed oversized, so what we're gonna do is size up. Please follow me. All right, so after walking around the store, I've decided to choose the Slim Fit Oxford. I like the navy blue one the most. Now I know you guys are probably thinking slim fit, that doesn't make any sense. If you want something oversized, why would you go slim? Me, I'm a really small guy and I've sized up. So this is going to have a lot of space for me. One of the things I love about this, first off, I mean, you cannot beat that price. That's incredible. Then on top of that, it's great material. It feels really nice. It's nice and heavy and it's versatile. You can dress it up and dress it down. This is me in the Slim Fit Oxford, and this is a size large. And as you can see, it's not super crazy. I don't love it super big, so this is perfect. I have a lot of room, it's super comfortable. This is like immediate, a part of your closet. Every single day you can wear this. I'm into it. I think, I think I'm gonna take it. So I've just left Uniqlo. I am now going to go to the studio and meet up with Corey. is going to walk us through his oversized button-down looks. We are here with Hoi Kim. All right, so please walk us through this first look. Awesome. Look one, again, it's for that guy that isn't too into trends, but wants to look nice, is trying to make an intro into it. This guy probably doesn't know exactly where to buy an oversized shirt from, but wants to participate. So we got this really great linen shirt from Uniqlo. It's not necessarily oversized, but if you just go up two sizes, you can still participate in the trend without having to break the bank. This shirt comes in at a smooth $30, which nice. is great. Pair it again with a classic trouser like this Dickies. Again, $30, this should be in everyone's wardrobe. You're gonna see this in our episodes often because it's such a great pant, such a great price point. Pair it with these Converse, suede, really sick from the spring summer collection. Man, you know, one thing I really like about this, you made two really important points. One is that this isn't necessarily an oversized shirt. I love the whole DIY factor yeah. about fashion, you know what I mean? Because I remember when I couldn't 
get certain things. I just had to just make it make work. Make it up, yeah. And so that's a great thing. And also the Dickies, I mean, such a must. And yeah. look, let's be real. We wear our clothes more than once, so. 100%. It's, this yeah. is very real. And Hawkins rings, like, definitely kill it. Yeah, just like, add to the whole nice thing, too. To it. Shout out to those as well. Yeah, yeah. So this is the easy way to kind of break into the trend without doing too much. Again, look number two, that guy's a bit more invested in fashion, knows his brand, and is willing to push it a bit more. So here we have this oversized shirt from Acne and this bright orange, which is a staple for the brand. This shirt walked their spring, summer 19 runway. Price point comes in at 430, which is a bit more than an experienced guy would spend, but like- It's an investment. It's an investment piece, totally. Exactly. Paired it with this light denim from Acne as well. And then you go down to the black shoes from Rude. It's their first iteration of a shoe from the brand. And I feel like this guy is definitely like, you know, a fashion guy. He likes fashion, but he isn't trying to do too much. So everything's a bit like solid. Yeah. What I really like is that everything is focused around the shirt. Like the shirt is the main priority. Yeah, and everything just complements it very well, right? It's not overpowering, but it still just looks super nice and lets the shirt speak for itself. Yeah, it's also a great weight. I know you guys can't feel it, but it's nice and heavy. Yeah. Really, really a staple item, seriously. On a, like an early spring day, this is all you need, honestly. You can, you can even open it up and wear it as a shirt. Exactly. Right? Literally, I was about to say that. All right, guys, we're back here for the last look. This is for the baller, the guy that's not afraid to blow a bag on a piece. So we have this Raph Simmons oversized denim shirt. It's definitely a staple when you think of like fashion pieces out yeah. right now. The brand's been doing iterations of this for a minute now. But it's really cool. You pair it with this black hoodie from Noah, these black jeans from Mr. Porter's brand, Mr. P, and these chunky sneakers from Jay Lindenberg, which is also the brand's first foray into footwear. Yeah, this is so New York. Yeah, right, the all black fit. Also, when you're at this price point, you pretty much have access to every single brand, so this is when you can really play with the trends. Yeah. You know also, what I mean? Like flex, like crazy. Super flex. It's like, okay, whatever, $1,000 isn't really that much, let me get crazy, Yeah. you know? Because this can also be dressed up and down. You and can wear down. it with super colorful garments, and that's kind of the main dark piece. This is great, though. Yeah, but the black on black is definitely a vibe. All right, so Corey, what was your favorite look? I think my favorite look was probably the last look, the Raph Simmons shirt. Huge fan of Raph, and I think I'm actually gonna just go on Mr. Porter after this and buy that. Yeah? Yeah, I feel very personally invested in it, I feel in that, that look. I need that that acne shirt. That orange, yeah. That's everything. Yeah. That's everything. And just the color blocking situation. Okay, you like that, okay, dope. Good job, good job. Thank I see you, you right? Look Thank at you, you. okay? <laughs> I'll see you. All right, so that's it for this episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and let us know what you want to see in the comments. Yeah, thank you to Uniqlo, Idol, for having us swing by. Please, much love. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>